this will work perfect with any setup scenario. You can put yourself down here to play the game or put yourself over there. You want to play some Call of Duty. Most people put it down here for Call of Duty. Some of the chicks nowadays is making themselves super huge in their videos, you know. So you might want to play the game like that. You want to do just a chatting screen. You can just make it about that size or you can actually make it the same size as the top of the screen because that's how you know. That's how big I would actually look on the actual screen without the size cut off anyway. The possibilities are endless. You can just put whatever background you want. If you want to do some makeup tutorials or whatever, whatever floats your boat, you can do that with this bad boy here. And it saves you money. You don't have to keep going and buying tons of different backgrounds, tons of different cloths, tons of different, um, what you call it, paper rolls. You don't got to do that no more. You can just boom, green screen. <laughs> What's good y'all, YXL here. And in this video, we're gonna be showing you exactly how to get your green screen looking mwah, quite nice. Now, these settings are gonna be tweaked. You can't just copy the exact settings I'm gonna show you. This is just a, a ring light, nothing too spectacular, nothing too expensive. Matter of fact, they might even have them bad boys on sale. Go check them out. Now, we're gonna get straight into these settings. I don't wanna waste any of your time. So first you wanna go to the filters hold on we going too fast so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your green screen is cropped in to only show your green screen because you do not want to be showing the background to the sides like this it's not going to look right and so um drag that over by hitting the alt key slide it over to where you do not see anything left because that's going to ruin the whole effect and then it'll let you just crop that on in crop that on in and voila there we have it you want to do the same thing for the other side bring that on over voila there we have it again now next thing you want to do you can right click on the actual thing that you're doing the chroma key filter to or you can come down here and do it here so it, it doesn't make any difference so you want to right click hit filter and then as you can see i already have one that i already made chroma key voila it looks cool but we're going to be using the one that i have set for showing you all so as you can see it's very fuzzy and it looks weird on the sides and i'm not looking too great so the main things you're going to want to mess with is the similarity smoothness and maybe the key color spill reduction i don't ever mess with that i normally leave that set to 100 but like i said most of these you want to tinker with so as you can see this is on 400 if we go over too far on the similarity it'll start to just take you out you know what i'm saying you'll be looking like what the heck and who done it so you want to come back a lot of people like to go to where it starts to take them off and then they click down so as you can see i'm starting to be a little see-through casper the friendly ghost in here so if we click down as you can see it'll start bringing it back to being fully no clearness and you know crispiness so we're going to keep on keep on keep on keep on keep on keep on and as you can see we're on like 429 on the one that i made it was set to 435 so we're almost we're close to where i made it when i was tweaking it to the max like i was looking at it under a microscope so as you can see that looks pretty cool you can leave it like that if you want to or you can um come on up but if you go up too high don't forget it's going to start taking you out like that's not cool like at the top of the hat it's looking real weird so we're going to come on down come on down come on down come on down voila you see and honestly i could just leave it at this like i could just leave it at this 435 430 see the second time we we got to 430 without me even really i didn't even remember what the heck i had uh said as the first one but as you can see it looks good it's no issues no problems put your hand up you don't see no weird stuff going on and as far as the smoothness is set to 80 by default now if you get to moving this you'll really be looking like Casper and you don't got time for that. So you can bring it to where it's just now bringing you out and then go down if you want to. But I feel that 80 is perfectly cool. Like it's not, you know, it's not looking too crazy. So put that back on 80. If you go down too far, it'll start to do that. And that's not cool. So you do not want this unless that's the effect you're going for. But I don't know why that would be. So we're going to go back up. I'm going to put this back on. Well, honestly, it looks cool like that, but 
we're going to set that back to 80. Now, if you want to keep going up, like I said, keep in mind, it's going to start fading it out. It's going to look all see-through again. So literally, most of these settings is going to do the same thing if you put too much of it on. So we're going to click that down, click that down, click that down. As you can see, the hat is still looking crazy. It's already uh, dusty, but we don't need it to look clear. And as you can see, once we get it down to 80, it's cool again. There's no issues. Put my hands up. Everything looks cool. Voila. Now, next is the key color spiel reduction. Now, with this, uh, it's set to 100. It can just be left there usually. So, if you want to mess around with this, you're going to start looking like that. Now, this is kind of cool depending on what type of situation you're doing. Maybe that's what you're going for. Go for what you're going for. Don't go for what you're not going for. That's just how it is. So, for me, I don't need, you know what I'm saying? I don't need to add it. I don't need to take it away so therefore like i said it's normally on 100 as default i'm gonna put mine back to 100 as the default now one thing you will never catch me messing with is the doggone opacity i can't do that i can't do that there's no reason for me to do that if you want to do that cool spooky maybe if you want to put yourself in a, in a in a little scary movie or something i don't know what you what you would do but you can do it. Another thing I would never mess with is the contrast. I would not mess with the contrast because it's going to start looking crazy. Unless you need it, I don't ever mess with it. I just set my stuff through the camera and just leave it alone because adding extra contrast to your video, your footage, as far as with OBS, it makes the encoder work harder. There's just no reason for that. So as you can see, we're looking pretty good here now, you know, looking pretty snazzy if I do say so myself. And there you have it. We're looking pretty snazzy. We're ready to play the game. We're ready to get busy. You feel me? This will work perfect with any setup scenario. You can put yourself down here to play the game. Slide that over there. Or if you like the little space between it, you can do it that way too. Or put yourself over there. You want to play some Call of Duty. Most people put it down here for Call of Duty. Some of the chicks nowadays is making themselves super huge in their videos, you know. So you might want to play the game like that. Or, you know, you want to do just a chatting screen, you can just make it about that size or you can actually make it the same size as the top of the screen because that's how you know, that's how big I would actually look on the actual screen without the size cut off anyway. So you could do this and then you can change your background to anything. You can change your background to be just a solid color, purple, blue, pink, whatever. With this green screen, the possibilities are endless. You can just put whatever background you want. If you want to do some makeup tutorials or whatever, whatever floats your boat, you can do that with this bad boy here. And it, oops, didn't mean to hit the mic. With this bad boy here, and it saves you money. You don't have to keep going and buying tons of different backgrounds, tons of different cloths, tons of different, um, what you call it, paper rolls. You don't got to do that no more. You can just boom, green screen, slide it up. If you have the Elgato or any other ones that slide up and down. And then boom, you're good. That'll do it for this video. Till next time, it's been real. If you enjoyed the video, if it helped you out, please slam the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.